So I just saw Thoroughbreds and it was pretty good. I actually saw it at AFI Fest back in November, but I figured that nobody would watch the video because nobody knew about the movie back in November, but now there's trailers for it and it's coming out soon and people seem to be somewhat interested in it. So I figured I would give you my quickie review now. The film stars Anya Taylor-Joy and Olivia Cook, and is also one of the last films of late actor Anton Yelchin. All of their performances were great and their characters were very watchable. It's a fun comedic drama, almost kind of crime movie, I guess. It's kind of hard to pin down exactly what it is. There are some pretty dramatic moments, but for the most part it's relatively upbeat and doesn't take itself too seriously. Although I do have to admit, there are a couple parts where the movie kind of feels like it's trying to be cool. <laughs> Fortunately enough, those parts are largely infrequent and don't really sour the experience. The music was well done for the most part, although whatever song was playing at the beginning sounded way too much like a song from Cretia. Like, if it wasn't the exact same song and they didn't pay royalties, then it was a straight-up ripoff. Fortunately, it was only really an issue near the beginning of the film, and for the rest of it, the soundtrack was its own thing. What makes this film really fun to watch is how the characters are written. They are provided with very unusual traits and circumstances, and the back-and-forth dynamic between the two main characters is especially engaging. Although this is Corey Finley's first film, he does have a history in writing theater, so that explains why the film's story works well, but it's particularly impressive that it looks so professional and well shot. It's pretty crazy how much of a grasp he has for visuals with this being his first film. This guy's clearly got some talent and I'm excited to see what he does next. Anyway, apparently this movie's getting some sort of a wide release on March 9th, so go check it out! And I'm giving this one a 7 out of 10.